On my way back to learning Photoshop in a year, it's day 19. And let me show you the basics of creating lines. There are two main ways to create lines. First up is the line tool. You will find it where the rectangle tool is. Press U. If you can't find it, then right click on this toolbox and then you can select it. The line is actually created as a shape. So make sure it is selected in a drop down and left click drag. When you release it, you will have your line. You can hold shift to make this snap into 45 degree angles. And you can release it and then create three diagonal lines just like this. You also have the option to give it a fill. It's usually not needed and not even visible. It's the stroke swatch next to it that determines the color of your line. You can adjust that right here. Let me make it greenish. I confirm and we have the stroke width, which is then the thickness of the line. And we can change the stroke style to dashed, dotted, or solid. Width and height are still available because it is in principle a shape. But if you just hate now, you will basically get a rectangle consisting only of outlines. So it is usually set to 1, which is the lowest. Even if you go to 0, it will be 1. And width is now the length of your line. We also have a weight adjustment, which is in our case the same as the height. So if I adjust that to 5 and I drag a new one, this will now be the new height, or you could say width of your line. You can already see that here. Usually you want to set this to 1 as well. All right, let us delete them, create a new one. But I want to have the weight set to one. And now let me show you the second way to create lines is use the pen tool. If you can't find that, the short key for the pen tool is P. And then you can left click to create your first anchor point and left click again to create the second and this will create your line. We have the same adjustments on top, but we don't have the same properties because the line that we've created with the line tool is actually detected as a line. Therefore, it has the line properties. But the line that we've created with the pen tool is detected as a shape. Therefore, the line properties will not be available. If you want to adjust it, you have to be on that layer and then reselect the pen tool. And then you can, for example, change the color, play around with the width, whatever you want to do here, but the properties are not available anymore. So this is basically the only difference between these two major ways to create lines. But in the end, they both do the same. One more thing that we can do with the pen tool that we can't do with the line tool is to create curved lines. To do that, we left click to create the starting anchor point and then we left click drag. And this will give you these handles. And with the handles, you can adjust the angle. Let me left click drag for the end point as well. So now we have a line with three anchor points and it's curved. And now you can also see the fill. You don't need that, so I set it to none. Pen tool is a little bit more complex. I will definitely make more videos about that in the future. But for the basics, that should be enough. Try it out yourself. It's always a good idea to practice a little bit and not just consume these videos passively. In general, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.